Mark has asked a few different questions. So he's asking about the categorization and where and how our list of categorized websites come from. So the, there's there's three places. Um, well, four, I guess. There's there's data we subscribe to, external data to get categories. And we find that there's extreme amounts of false positives in that. And we do a lot to cross-reference it. A machine learning model and automatic scraping of the sites to self-determine. Uh, we also look at historic data on the website, how long has it been around, see if we can determine um, cash from uh, SEO results and things like that, which allow us to determine has it just been switched. And the fourth one is humans. Uh, it's literally someone's job in Threat Locker, well, lots of people's job. Check out the block stuff. To check out all of the blocks, to research the websites. Literally, if you go onto Threat Locker right now and you're using our web control, the moment you hit a website, if it's not on our database, it immediately goes through our machine learning models, it goes through our research models, and then it will also, if it can't get a definitive answer, it will send it to a human. And a human will look at it and say, this is a site you don't want to look at, or this is a site you do want to look at. And if you're using CyberHero approvals, that will automatically go for recategorization. 